Can take you live to Melbourne now, folks. This is Collingwood captain Darcy Moore now speaking on the club's drug scandal. Young people, in this case AFL players, so um, really looking forward to the results of that review. I think it clearly it's um, it plays an important role in minimising harm around the league in terms of flagging players who are at risk of making mistakes around drug use, um, provides invaluable de-identified data around the prevalence of drug use to the league and to the medical ex experts in order to keep tabs on how big of an issue this is. Um, I think the challenging part of it is certainly when things become public because obviously around a welfare and a harm minimisation model not everything is going to be public and when it does it certainly um, yeah, can create a little bit more grey area I suppose. Jack's done the wrong thing, he's admitted to that but he was also filmed in a toilet cubicle. What do you think about that and, and the invasion of privacy with that video? Yeah, I think um, the general public can make up their own mind about what they think about someone being filmed in a cubicle, but as you said, Jack's owned this behaviour. You know, our main concern is about the behaviour and the mistake that Jack's made and, and he's owned that. He's, um, you know, fallen short of the standards and it's disappointing, but, um, yeah, I'm sure he'll learn from it, yeah. Um, yeah, the main thing for me is obviously Jack's a close teammate of mine and someone who, um, you know, I've gotten to know really well over the last few years, so I'm just really disappointed for him and um, my main concern at this point is, you know, him understanding, owning the mistake, which he's done, and now it's around supporting him. It's, it's, it's about Jack at the moment. It's a tough reading, isn't it? You have to be tough, but also have to support him. It's a, it's a real sort of tight Yeah, absolutely. Jack, to his credit, um, you know, owned up to his actions pretty strongly with us and was super clear about that and, and what he'd done and, um, you know, accepted accepted the sanction in the same manner. So, um, to his credit, he's owned it. He hasn't shied away from it. He's faced up to it. And um, that's something that is, um, in this case, it's pleasing to see. You've said you don't think there is a wider uh, issue with drugs in Collingwood. What about in the game, in the AFL, with players? Um, no, I don't think so. I mean, um, players obviously um, don't operate in a vacuum and are human beings and make mistakes. and. We know with the consumption of alcohol that that impairs judgment. So we'd be crazy to think that you know there are no players around the league who use drugs from time to time. So it certainly exists. Um, in terms of the the how widespread it is, I'm really not in a position to say, considering you know I don't have all the data. But this that, that data does exist, and it exists with health professionals in order to safeguard you know the well-being and the welfare and the, the fitness for work really of, of all the players around the league and. Um, and they make decisions and interventions, you know, privately according to, you know, the health imperative at the time. So they're probably the best ones to answer that. Yeah, the, the main thing is we just want, um, you know, the Jack that we know and love to be to be still around, you know, he's a really bubbly, really popular teammate. He's someone who, um, yeah, really lights up the locker room. So we really want to see that. Um, and we just, yeah, want to, want to look after his, his well-being. You know, this is obviously a, an error and a, and a mistake that he's made. And um, but this, you know, we're not interested in, in shaming him from now going forward. You know, we want to support him and make sure that um, he feels empowered to, like you say, get back into his training, recover from this little niggle that he's got. and and come back in the team and be a valued member. And, you know, he's a popular teammate and he's a popular player. You know, the fans love him. So um, I'm sure he's going to learn from this and, and move forward. Um, I think so, yeah. I think the... The, um, the existence of... Regular testing and sanctions must have some sort of deterrent effect. As to the scale of that, I'm sure that'll come out in the review that the AFL has commissioned into the IDP. Beautiful. Thanks, guys. I think that's cool. enough. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.